as many of you probably know, how me and Rasmus got started in this whole online business entrepreneurship journey was with self-publishing. Back in 2016, it's allowed us to live in a place like this. Give them a little 360. Crazy shit. Every time we talk to someone and they're like, wow, I wanna do what you guys do, we always recommend them to also get into self-publishing. But one of the most common questions now is, you guys did it two years ago, two, three years ago, and it worked for you, but if I get started now, will it work? Like, people don't know if it still works and just, they're afraid of the big thing called saturation. People think that publishing is saturated and we're about to sit down here in Gavin's room and tell you why saturation does not exist right now in publishing and why right now is actually the as good a time as ever to get started in publishing because of audiobooks. So let's talk about that. Is publishing saturated and can you still make money with publishing in 2019? That is the big question we are going to cover in this video. Okay. Keep going, I'm vibing with it. That was a nice sound. Keep going. But isn't that a really like nice, like healing sound? It's like, I can fucking feel it in my balls. Wow. Is this a static yeah, mindset? Oh. Okay. Whoa. Okay, okay. Whoa, that okay. was a trip. Here we go. But yeah, is publishing still saturated? And specifically, audiobook publishing. So let's just get it out the way and say our opinion. And that is that right now is a good of a time as ever to get into publishing. Fuck no, it's not saturated at all. Yeah. At all. And the people that have that mindset, I'm just like, oh, God, like, what do you... You think it's ruined in what, like two uh, two months? Yeah. Like, what do you expect? We just went zero to 10K in oh. five months. But not everyone knows that. Oh, okay. So we're well, also talking to people that don't know that. Well, we just did Trying that. We started from zero back in September and made over 10K here in January. We'll get the income report In out audiobook soon. royalties, not profit, in audiobook royalties. Uh, because money goes into creating these audiobooks. But yeah, quick background for people who don't know. I started with publishing back in 2016. Rest started a little bit later. In 2017 yeah we've been doing it for over two years now it's what has created this life for us uh, has gotten us into the online business space got us into lifelong entrepreneurship we both have a lot of success with publishing and we're both very passionate about publishing and spreading the message about how great of a way it is mm -hmm. to get started online mm -hmm. and like have the freedom to be able to quit your job and actually like live life your way yeah, this will be a whole other video that we yeah, can talk yeah. about but yeah and also why now is as good of a time as ever the reason is because of audiobooks audiobook publishing being mainstream has only been around for like one to two years mm -hmm. but traditional publishing traditional publishing being ebooks and paperback books has been around since like 2010 no before that 2008 wow so it's like seven eight ten years now uh, okay, so that's been around for like 10 years, audiobooks around two years, and even traditional publishing, ebooks and paperback, is still super profitable. Even that is super profitable. And traditional publishing literally has 10 times as much competition as audiobook publishing does. Meaning like the amount of books that you are competing against in the store, the Kindle store, where you're, you're selling your books, there's 10 times as many with ebooks as there is in audiobooks. Mm -hmm. It's a 10% fraction. Yeah, you know what's weird is that I talk to my friends and there's myself and like everyone I meet, we get into you know the conversation of publishing and I just ask like, do you, like how do you consume information? Everyone is like, it's audiobooks. Audiobooks. I don't even know anyone that reads ebooks or paperback books. More so fiction, but not uh, non-fiction the way we would, mm -hmm. like the sort of shit that we're into. Yeah, so right? we have- I use audiobooks myself. Like I know, and like everyone we talk to as well. We were sitting at dinner the other day and we're like, who here has an Audible account? Everyone, me, everyone did every, an Audible account. You know? Eight people at the table, everyone had an Audible account. Yeah. And everyone listens to audio, uh, audiobooks. Yeah. So we have multiple videos talking about why audiobook publishing is better than the traditional publishing. But that's not what this video is about. It's talking about like, is it saturated? Is publishing saturated? Audiobook publishing is saturated? Because a lot of people have gotten into it recently and then these other people, uh, naturally, I mean, I don't blame you. Mm. They always think one of the first thoughts is, am I too late? Yeah. Am I too late to the party? And it's a fair thought to have. So this video is just to reassure you and explain to you why. No, you are not too late to the party. And if you're interested in learning more, just 
first link in the description down below. We have a free training. We do audiobook publishing. We show you how to do it. And second don't link is straight to the course if you want to skip all the bullshit. Yeah, if you want to skip all the bullshit. No, I don't want to rant on why audiobooks are so great. Yeah. But goddamn, it is a good ass fucking opportunity right now to to just show you the potential. Last month in January, we had one audiobook one do over five thousand dollars in just audiobook royalties from one audiobook. Okay. About a month or two ago, we made a video about one audiobook that made four thousand dollars in two months. In two months. In two months, and then we bundled it, and now the bundle did over five thousand in one month. Yeah, it's insane. And we also have videos talking about why bundles are the greatest thing ever. All this stuff. That's a whole different subject, but shit has obviously changed in the last year. Yeah. Publishing's not the same way it was a year ago, two years ago. No. Years ago. So the thing is, right now you can't publish shit books and expect to make money. Yes. And that's like such a fair. The fact that that was the case before mm -hmm. was like bullshit. It was. It's too not easy. a good way. It was too easy. Back it's just in the day. A, not a good way to do business. To like yeah. come out with like low quality shit yeah and then actually get um a lot of money. <laughs> and yeah. then actually get um paid for it uh-huh and then be like really sure, like oh shit this is working let me just do more of that yeah you know yeah so that's how it was but now for like with traditional publishing even without audiobooks you can make 10k a month like i have m multiple friends doing it right now we're more just into audiobooks mm -hmm. but so yeah back in the day you could publish shit books and make a lot of money you could still make a lot of money now but no, it's not shit books. You cannot do it with shit books. So you have if to. If you do that, they will not make you much money. I bet no. you'll make your money back within a year. Mm -hmm. But of course, that sucks. Yeah, you can't produce shit books. So right now, the importance is in putting super high quality into every step of the publishing process. So yeah, to make a lot of money with publishing right now, you also need to know what you're doing. So you cannot just, like we said, push it out there. You have to know AMS ads. You have to know... Not for audiobooks. Not it's for audiobooks. Exactly. Now I'm trying traditional right now. Uh, you have to know AMS ads. You have to know how to make a book actually stand out from the others. You have to... That's uh, something regarding that cover learning, and title. That's something we're learning now at our own publishing account. After two years, over two years of doing this... We're still learning. Like, I've been doing it like not every day, but it's always been my thing. I've never taken any time off from it. I'm still learning every day. Every single day. Like from we have Booster Calls. Booster Call is this group coaching program that we have with like 20 people. We live stream and we just like talk audiobook stuff. And then after every call, I have like a shitload of notes. I'm like, fuck, I learned a lot. I've been doing So basically, I think you never stop learning. Yeah. Which is an important way to be. Always learn. Always optimize and implement. And never just think, oh, I know everything. But yeah, that 5K from in royalties from one audiobook in one month really shows the upside of what can be done with audiobooks right now. Then I want to go into just the fact that having thoughts about saturation and does this still work, thoughts like that will never help you. They will only ever self-sabotage you. So you need to do everything you can to get those thoughts and that thought pattern out of your head right now because they will only ever hurt you and cannot help. Is competition increasing? Of course it is. Of course it is. Just like every single other online business out there. On dropshipping, Amazon FBA, I've named them all before. You know what they are. Competition is increasing every single day. The more you like have analysis problems, like which one do I start with? Uh, the worst position you're in. Mm -hmm. it ha it's like that case with everyone, but it doesn't change anything. People are still going to be making money with all these methods 10 years from now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're asking yourself, the uh, is this saturated? Does this still work? The only thing that is gonna do is one damage your confidence. And when you don't have confidence going into like a business venture, you're not gonna go all in. You're gonna half-ass it, and then you will fail. So, which is why it's important to go into it with the strong mindset. You can't go into it with this. Uh, if you're unsure, then don't do it because it's not gonna work. Then you yeah. cannot be unsure. Yeah. And so we're here to tell you, don't be unsure. And this yeah. shit is still everything you need it to it's be. It's still such a silly way to think. Is it? Can I still make money with it? Oh no. It's no, there's too it, many. I think it's fair to ask the question when you don't know. Oh, you're right. When you don't know. But, but when you, you use some logic, it's like, well, of course you can still make money with yeah. it. Yeah. But fair enough. It's not more, everyone. It's more like beginners and don't know yeah. how it works. It's more like people who have been in publishing for like over a year and they're like, oh, my business isn't growing. Does it still work? Then it's like, no, it has nothing to do with the market mm -hmm. or the business itself. It's that's, all fucking you. Yeah, I was going to say, that's you trying to you, bro. put the blame somewhere yes, else. Yes. And, and not take responsibility for the lack of your publishing business growing. Yeah, exactly. I had one final point. I, I also have a point. Say. I also have a okay. point. So, these thoughts of is it saturated and all that, I feel like often comes 
at least for me, because I've had the thought too myself. Just had the thought. It's okay. Yeah. Um, often comes when you're doing keyword research and when you're stuck in your own head looking for kinds of books to publish. It's like fuck. I don't even know. Like I don't know what to choose. I feel like I can't. I'm stuck in this box of keywords and I can't seem to find anything else. Mm -hmm. I've been there. But last night when we did re keyword research together as a group, it was me, you, and two others. Group keyword research I learned is like really productive because you just get new ideas, things that you wouldn't learn or mm -hmm. think of on your own. There's a keyword research party. A keyword Would research highly party. recommend if you have other Kindle publishing friends do keyword research together. And it was like we had like the best notes we've ever had, and we're about to make a big order, and like I can't wait. But what I want to say is after that session is like really reassured me that like fuck, there's so much Ooh. out there that we've never yeah. tried. There's so much out there. So I have this document with over 100 keywords that we found, and like. I, I got to the point where like, okay, I just, I can't look anymore. I don't need more than this. Even though there were way more to go through, so many topics I want to make books on and so many that I know are just going to absolutely smash it. I feel what like we're doing right now, we're trying a lot of new things, mm -hmm. which I really am excited about. I think people are stuck in the... Uh, There's keto, keto, keto yeah, yeah. paleo books, yeah. vegan, uh, beginner's guide, a meal plan book, yeah. cookbooks uh -huh. for vegetarians, cryptocurrency. <laughs> Let's what go. else is there? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, exactly. I can't think of any more than that. If that is how you think, then yes, you will run into problems. And can I say why? Well, because those are the ones we talk about on the course mostly. Those are the examples we use because they're just examples. And so many people have gotten into it for that reason. Never underestimate how lazy people are with yeah. shit like that. There are people that have found out our books and are copying the fuck out of them. Yeah, just because like, exactly they're lazy. Copying. I guess if you know ours are doing well, why wouldn't you? But still, fuck I can you. tell you why you wouldn't. Because yeah. you're a piece of shit. That's yeah. why. I have two fun things I want to get at before we end this video. First one is like, what is saturation? People have the wrong idea of saturation. Mm -hmm. Saturated is not when uh, there's more competition than there was last year. Mm -hmm. There's more people competing. That's not saturation. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you actually have to put in work now to make money. That's not saturation. Oh, I have to actually have to be good at it, know what I'm doing, and come out with quality content to make money. That's not saturation. That's how a fucking business should work. I want to hear what you, what you okay. have to say. What saturation is, is literally when you can't make money in the space even when you know what the fuck you're doing because there's just one million sellers of the same shit. That's when, and you had, there's no way to stand out. That's saturation mm -hmm. and then the final question Key is when you know what you're doing it's very easy to still make money yeah very easy just publishing is so easy okay. okay what's the last one what's the last one right. so then the final question to piggyback off of that mm -hmm. how long until i think or we think or anyone thinks that we will experience some saturation in publishing like for true saturation to occur it'll be 20 30 50 plus years mm -hmm. but like saturation for the sake of is this still the best opportunity and is it worth it to get started? If I had to put an arm around it, five plus years. Five plus years? Five plus years. Well, traditional publishing has been popular for exactly. five years. That, that's and the it's thing. Still good now. For 10 years and you could still make shitloads of money in traditional. And you'll still have plenty of people saying, oh, it's saturated, you can't make money with it. No, but they're just fucking stupid. Yeah, they're stupid and wrong. Yeah, because this is a clearly right there's wrong. plenty we, of people making a lot of money. Like, that's listen, what more do you need other than that? But yeah. It's not an opinion. It's yeah. right versus wrong. We are right that it is not saturated and you can still make money. The other person is just like fucked up or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Or they just want to think that. So, yeah, and then audiobook publishing five, you, ten plus years. Like, do not ever have that thought. But because that's what this video is for. Now you know. Now you know. To just go all know. in. And that basically sums up this video and you probably forgot what you said before but I remember you I said remember. that at the end of this video you would jump off the balcony into the pool I'm because a man of my word you know yeah. I'm doing this yeah we are you know up I'm here doing this in just, Gavin's room we got a little balcony we got the pool and the unicorns down here take off my shirt let's go One let's sec. go this and then now take your while okay, this button maybe up. we'll okay. fast forward this but yeah and then we also need a magic emoji of the day something that goes with this are you doing a, a cannonball? Is there like a cannonball emoji? Or a dive? Give us something good. Or the exploding emoji. The exploding emoji. The yeah. exploding emoji. All right. Here we go. All right, go. How is it? So good.